Okay, welcome to the stream. We are going to just get the microblade so it can um, easily change the filter in the system so we can go through and do that. And I think that's all we're going to do on this project. Um, this FPJ is lacking. I should go change the resolution. You guys can see it there. So let's change that resolution to 150%. There you go. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to create a quick menu on the microblaze to change to the various filters. That way you can change through the effects. And I think that's what we're going to go for this project because um, we are kind of reached um, close utilization. I, I played around with it, but it was at 99%. We might be able to increase the kernel size and to do some more. Instead of doing a 3x3 three three kernel, we might potentially do a 5x5 five five kernel. But I think that's kind of, this is kind of a good spot. I think I'm going to wrap this up, um, put, the, put the material onto... Uh, onto github have a little website so people can access it and that should be good one watt it's great um so we have this thing it's going to receive and repeat we're going ahead and just program our uh, fpga um yeah program that I'm gonna bring out my little camera here so I can see what you guys are seeing. I'll put it right on. Close that. Put it right on top of that. Okay. Okay. Good to go. I programmed it. Let's see. We're active. Now let's pull this up. Um, what was the address? I think it was four four three four four a four. No. Okay. Let's go see. So we want to look at the filter operator four four a three. So let's go back to SDK targets target three memory read of. Four four a three zero 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 and let's read ten addresses. I want to read actually thirty addresses, and so everything's down. So good place to look. Let's just go look at the code for that guy. So x up stream hls x one no 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 we want to look at kernel solution um ip Driver, operator, source, hardware, that guy. So let's open this into a new instance. That one down. Okay. Okay. Now a little bit here. The first thing we want to push the upper limit, so that's going to be 20. I'm going to push that to 255. So, do a memory write of 44A300250, and kernel 4, which is 48. 48, we're going to write a 1, 2. Okay, um, now we pull this up. We now have the identity, the grayscale identity of our uh, our system. Now let's write down um, test user dot bin that into our frame buffer. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Get terror turn up here. It's like round with it. Uh, 
10, I think. The uh, should print out. So go to serial port. That's right here in setting. Okay, let's try rerunning it. That's right. Let's just change this to hello world if it leaves any data. Addresses are or zero six zero. I'm yeah. confused to why. Why did we not we initialize it? Do an initialization. Okay, so we're not receiving bytes. Duration. Um, we do a memory read of that location. Let's see, we do a memory read of the address 1234. I'll just read eight. Uh, there, let's see. We go to like H Let's test hardware read register get status is received is transmit full is received empty Um, read red, write red. Empty. So let's copy that. We can run that here. So what we're going to do is, um, Get this. If it's empty, zero four six zero one two three four equals zero. So we're going to and hello world. And we're going to receive a byte. Uh, 
undefined reference. Underscore I. Okay, cool. That's fine. Right, programming if you do every time. I could do that. Um, so um, that can be a U eight um C for char B do what R Input equals uh, terminal. Auto edit buffer um, run configurations program okay so first thing we're going to do we need to write some configuration and three We're going to make this 255 and then 48. Go on. Okay. Um, so now we want to do a case statement. So let's do a case statement. It takes the input and switches it around so we can um, so we do switch. Which based upon input. Then we do case and so we're gonna do identity for this one and it's gonna start. So identity twenty eight thirty thirty eight. 40, 48, 50, 58, 60, 68. Right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's exactly all we need. And these are going to be 0. Let's undo identity. Um, and then we're going to do a uh, printout. And we're going to call it identity. And then let's do an outline, which so let's do um, outline. Is number two. So number two, we're going to do outline and be negative one, negative one, negative one, one, eight, one, one, one. one. So 
down real quick. Let's go ahead and add Antelope. Um, blur. Um, bottom cell bell. Bottom cell bell. This is going to be negative one, negative two, zero, zero, zero. Two, one, and four, four, embossing. So we're gonna add a bunch of filters so we can switch to them real quick. And Embossing. Um. It's over here. Okay. Let's okay. just do a sharpen real quick. Five. Negative one. Zero. Negative one. Negative one. Sharp. Okay. So we're going to load this up. Play move these that around. Okay, so we go here. The one identity, outline, arm so bell, emboss, sharpen. Okay, so move this up here. Move this one. Here, three, and five. And let's just do our other sub bell filters real quick. We'll do a left one. Two, 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 one, zero. One six and we'll do seven. The top is going to be the opposite. Yes. Negative, negative, negative. And let's do a right. It's going to be the opposite value. Negative, negative, negative. Okay. I think we're good now. Let's 
So, your image up. So, one identity, two, outline, three, sharpen, four, emboss, five, bottom spell, left spell, top spell, right spell. What's any nine? Anything useful we could put in nine? Uh, let's try the blur. The blur is a little bit more complicated. So we can do a sharpen real quick. The sharpen just requires a shift. Do a sharp or no a blur. So we're gonna do uh, blur, blur, and we're gonna start with. One, one there, yeah. one, two, one, two, four, one, two. But set value, this value is going to be too high, so we're going to need to shift it. So we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to shift it. We want to shift it by four. We want to divide it by sixteen. We want to divide it by sixteen. Okay, and that's what we want for blur. Okay. Blurring, you can see it a little bit. Okay, now let's load in our test image. Why did the screen go black? You can barely see it. Oh, I know why. Um, it's because we. Yeah. Okay, so what we do is go here. We'll make this a zero for uh, shift value. You shouldn't do direct memory addresses, but we should put values for all this in comments and explaining it so people don't think. Crazy for doing direct memory addresses, yeah. but I'm a terrible person. Okay, let's see. Does the droid cam see it? Okay, now let us uh, load in our image. Or loading in our image, we can. Bossing, bottom cell bell, so bell. Okay, let's see if we can find some hard shapes. I think, um, Looks so cool in Boss. I gotta say, I love this image in Boss. Okay, yeah, let's check out another test. Our other test images. If I just go through a few test images as we uh, embossing. And we can just go through all our filters. Okay, edge detection there. 
So we have a bottom dumbbell, so we get the we get the horizontals, and this one gets our vertical lines. Horizontal lines, vertical lines. Horizontal, vertical lines. Blur. Barely see that. Sharpen. You can kind of see that. Outline. Embossing. Embossing is pretty cool. Okay, what we got next? This one. Yes. So you need like a greater blur filter. I guess we can increase the intensity a little. Or just shift it over one more and now decrease it a little bit more. I think it was 11. I'll check out. 12. The identity outline. Sharpen, emboss, bottom of bell, right of bell. You guys probably don't notice the difference between identity, sharpen, and blur. Let me see if I can see it on the droid camera, right? We have identity. See the difference a little bit. Sharpens a little bit more brighter. If you sharpen the identity, we can see it changing color a little bit. It's probably because it's a 3x3 three three filter. It do, it's not that dramatic on this super high-res image. I think it's 11 I want to try next. Oh, yeah, this would be a fun one. I think we'll close with this one. Love the hmm, how about we just make a script real quick? That's just really just just gonna go through all of them. We're just gonna do a quick slideshow. Okay, we're going to cycle all this up. We're going to do, I think that's what that one. Stop, team, rock, back. Yeah. So, let's say this is a tickle. So we're going to save this as a tickle here. Show all. Then we just do source show all tickle. And we can just play, play around with the different settings as we do this. Embossing it. Sharpen. So interesting doing that. Yeah. Awesome. So we're just kind of, I guess we'll just go through these as we show all our test images. And that should get us close to finish. <laughs> I'm gonna watch what this looks like on stream. Oh, I should probably do a full screen of it. I like you guys seeing what seeing which options we have. Very embossed. See how the rabbit the radicals, the radical radials just come out. Radicals. And outline, cell bell, cell bell.
like how in the camera that sudden brightness you go from here to here it's like a cool effect almost because it's just the light reflecting off the monitor to the camera and you guys yeah you can see the difference a little bit it's just a just a brightness difference between sharpen and blur different lines Okay, did we get this far? Do we have another image after this one? Oh, I don't think we should. That's pretty cool. Bossing, Nobel. So I feel like you can do some erosion and dilation to find where the strong lines are. Maybe use a, a, a bigger kernel. You definitely where that out is. I just like the sharpen. Seems to kind of like more detail. And this is image processing on FPGA, real time. 30 frames per second, 1080p, blur, plus, awesome. You guys don't see it there. Flare, sharpen. You read it that well when you emboss this one. Horizontal lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines. Diagonal ones go go through both of them. Let's see. So left and right, you don't really see much difference. Notice this top and bottom. Left and right. I feel like if it was a bigger kernel, you would, you would notice the left and right of the Silva filters. Yeah, done. more image after this I think that's probably where our stream is going to end today just showing off I'm going to post the code online later people can look at it this is a nice nature picture uh, real picture because you can see like you have to definitely blur that out to get rid of the, uh, the lines in the background Okay, so that's it. So that's image processing on the RDF PGA. And if we get time, we can do it on the pink and we can actually do 10, 60 frames per second. We can uh, do a lot more intense stuff. But that's about it for now.
thank you for, for uh, watching for this series and next time will be a better series hopefully I get better talking I mean if we had more people interact with the live stream it'd be a lot easier to do this I'm going to do a wrap up video for this project maybe we'll move to the pink later with more dynamic filters um we'll see um thanks bye